So, hey ho! Welcome back! Weiter geht's Richtung Gasoline. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ist hier noch was? Ja. Okay. Hm. Hm. Oh, da hinten ist schon die Tanke. Geh mal hier lang. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Stalking me, so a stalker. Stalker pro. Wieder so ein Holzfällerlager hier. What the fuck? Mit der Wurfaxt. Ja, werf mich. Was haben wir denn hier? Nichts. Okay, okay. Caution. Proceed at your own risk. Logging area ahead. Punkt. 
The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Das war doch wieder klar. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Maybe it's a generator, no? You. Ah, kind of batteries. Come on, lad, lad, lad. this forestry equipment around there had to be something I could use to reach the top uh. <laughs> Danger hearted area. Hearted, also, hm? Hearted Team Deathmatch area. What's this? Shotgun. Okay. Not my shotgun shells. Das funktioniert natürlich nicht. Nein. <lacht> okay. Bucket ordentlich. So. Setze ich mich hier rein. Nein. Versteckte Secrets hier. So, wenn ich das einschalte, dann kommt das hier rüber gefahren und ich kann hier rüber gehen, denke ich mal. Ähm, bewegen. Aha. So, hoch runter geht nicht? Nein. So. <lacht> Dann geh 
misma hora, huevo. Okay, ich gehe erstmal hier lang. Hier ist doch wieder so eine Magical Chasm. Noch eine Leuchtpistole. Jetzt habe ich Akimbos. Nice. So, da ist die Hütte. Steht wohl ein Fernseher drin oder so. Oh ne. Radio. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. The weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do you listen to no one? I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. It makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> But here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rumbling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. <laughs> Toby loves rabbits. Mm -hmm. Well, sure. Anyway, I didn't sure. know if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? It's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thank you. You have a good night now. Okay. Toby is back. Das ist schade. I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy, or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um... Have not in the sense, so. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it. As if it stood in a blind spot caused by... Yeah. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. Barry Buster is the best with no coat. That's the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hm? Ist hier irgendwer? 
Go. Ow. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Piss this shit. Oh. Nein, das war's noch nicht. Kann ich ihn schon verwunden? Ja. Okay. Hm, da ist noch so eine Seite. Hier hoch geht's wohl weiter. wieder nicht scheinen. Okay, kann ich gleich mal hier runter. Oh! Uh. Nee, war nicht so gut. <lacht> so, hier dich. Oh, hallo. Oh, noch einer direkt vor mir. Boah, piss dich. Ja. Noch mehr? Nein. Oh, doch. Ah, du Spaß. Ich setze mal eine Shotgun-Ladung ab. Komm her. Oh. Ist auch zu treffen. So, das ist die Thermosflasche. Ah. Weg. Au. Wo noch? Auch schon wieder. Weg mit dir. Langsam wird die Muni knapp. Okay, nimm mal hier. Und dann hauen wir hier schnellstens ab. Aber wo lang? Hier lang? Ne? Oh, das Ding muss ich wahrscheinlich benutzen hier, oder? Ah. Okay. Batterien. Räuber. 
and money. Geht's denn hier weiter? Äh. Moment, ich komme noch von da. Glaube ich. Komme ich nicht irgendwie? Ging's doch da oben weiter? Nee, oder? Ja, aber auch nicht. Hm. Ich guck doch noch mal da hoch. Ich glaub, da oben ging's doch weiter. I Magical Shazam Immer gut Logging area ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, mine. Ah, Leuchtpistole. Ja, Spassen. Okay. Secrets? Nein. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Mm -hmm. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Mm -hmm.
Someone here. Batteries. Shotgun. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. Uh -huh. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen in any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. <laughs> Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. Uh huh. Night Springs. Okay. Dann geht's gleich weiter. Bis dann.